In this video, we're going to take a look at how to transition off of the five point bundle with some information and guided steps. The first thing I want to go over is what is happening in Win. So starting on April 30th, the SKUs are going to be removed from the Commerce Portal so that in the March monthly report, we'll still release the five point bundle standard bundle in the MBO. But for the April monthly report, we're going to be removing it before that report is released. So why April 30 and not March 30? This is because we always remove the SKUs before the next MBO is released. If we remove the SKUs in March, they would not show up in the March report. Next, what can partners do? Well, the first thing you need to do is change your license keys before the end of March, typically on the second or the last day of the month. How do I tell if I've updated my licenses correctly? If usage meter in the April monthly report is showing standard bundle on the monthly usage report, then you have not updated it in time. So how do I report my licensing for April in case that I didn't do it in time? Well, if the standard bundle does show up on your monthly usage report, you can move that usage from standard bundle into the advanced bundle. Next, let's go through how to change the license keys. The first step is we need to go to myvmware.com, go to the license key section and get the key. Now I prefer to go to buy product page because it's easier to find vSphere. Here I can see vSphere 6 Enterprise Plus. So I'm gonna click on that. And here I can see the key for Enterprise Plus. Let's copy this key and go to vCenter. Now I need to add the license key into vCenter so that I can assign it to the different hosts. So if I go to the administration page, licenses, I can then see add new licenses. I'll paste the key here, verify the key, and I'll give it a name that's a little easier to remember. I verify, that's the key I want. And now I need to go assign it. So let's go to assets, hosts, and I'm gonna select all hosts for this environment. And I'm gonna assign the rental key to all of my hosts. Lastly, I wanna make sure that I remove the old vSphere enterprise key that was used for the standard bundle. Let me make sure that I see which one's correct. And here we are. So I'll select the key and remove the licenses. And that's it. Now, from this point forward, Usage Meter will understand that these hosts and all the VMs running on them are correctly being metered under the advanced bundle. For more information on Five Point Bundle and the Commerce Portal, check out our other videos on YouTube.